Hello my friends, this is Nesto. Today I have uh, something special planned for you. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending how you want to look at it, this video is way too long, so I had to split it on two parts. Uh, part one and part two. This, in this video I will be showing you how I take this car, with this casting, this little A100 pickup truck, and I, I'll take it apart. I'll uh, lower it, lower it, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this. Like I said, it is kind of a long video. If you're up to watching the whole thing, you know, give yourself, you know, 20 minutes here and then 20 minutes there to watch the two parts. Sorry, that is too long. Yes, this is Nesto. Grab yourself a drink, some popcorn or something, take some notes, and enjoy. Like I said, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just skip to part two towards the end and you'll see what the final uh, looks like. Thank you again. I really hope you guys enjoy. What's up, guys? This is Nesto. Uh, today we are actually right now because this is going to be a, a video that I will record in many parts and I'll put it together and uh, hopefully you guys can find this useful and uh, learn something from it this is uh, one of the methods I do to lower cars which i'm gonna do this one i did a red one before i left it upstairs otherwise i'll show it i'll show it in the next segment and uh i'll see what i do with this i don't know if i'll lower it or if i'll just do it with swap i think i'll just do a swap for now see what it looks like this is awesome so yeah first thing we do is we tap into the cars and just Put it against the ground. I'll flip it over. Get rid of that. And uh, this is my favorite trick. Check it out. And uh, yeah, that little ring came off. Right there. Let's do the rear. Okay. So now it's time to get to the ring. So now that I remove those things, the car falls apart fairly easy. And then I will start chopping that up. Okay, so back up on the desk. Um, I grab my base right here and a small screwdriver. So we grab a small screwdriver and uh, pry this open right here to release the wheel. <coughs> Excuse me. So easy on the plastic bases. I'm trying to show them how to make some stuff, some cool stuff. Cool stuff. Stop, don't, don't, don't move that. I had it organized. Okay, so now that you open them a little bit. You see? They come out really, really, really easy. So there they are. It's not like we're going to need the base, though. Because we're going to chop it all up. We are going to make something like this. With this one. 
of course. I'm gonna grab this, which is the interior of the car. <coughs> Excuse me. The interior of the A100 truck. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of these plastic tabs that hold the wheels down. I am uh, I'm gonna cut them all the way down to here and here and then I'm gonna file them down. So let's do that real quick. This is how I approach that kind of uh, scenario. That's what they look like. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm getting a little sick. I hope it doesn't get worse, it gets better instead. So here it is, without those tabs. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab my metal file. I'm not gonna show this, but I'm gonna file it down. They are smooth now. Let's uh, look down here, as you can see. So, <clears throat> what's after that, you may ask? I'm going to create room for the wheels to pick through in order, to, in order for them to fit. Right here, I cut the base. Actually, the interior, not the base. This is the interior of the truck. I'm gonna do this. So, same same process here. I grab my my cutters. Let me make some more room. There you go. I'm pretty much just cut <clears throat> carefully around it, making some room. Once I did the side cuts right here, then I come with my blade very, very carefully. Do this once and do it again, and that should be able to which there it is, you know. Got one side off, I just have to smooth it out. And I think I need to make it wider, definitely. So I'll just come over here. Cut that bit more, a little bit more here. And it is wider now. And I have another filer, which is a triangle shaped one, as you can see. This one is perfect because it fits right in here. It allows me to, to file stuff down. But I'm going to do it off camera. It's easier. <clears throat> I just wanted to give you a pointer, you know, where I do it. Right there. Back and forth. Back and forth. Okay. So I did one. Looks somewhat like that. It's gonna make it a little bit more straight over here. And uh, here we go. That's one side. <clears throat> Cut and file. Cut and file. 
Ah, uh, son of a. So I cut my bed by accident. That's what happens sometimes, you know, with that really hard pull. I will glue it back. That's not an issue. I can fix it. But yeah, you gotta be careful with that so that that doesn't happen to you. So we're gonna be using these wheels right here. And in order to use those wheels, what I have to do is. Grab me some <clears throat> of this tubing. You can see right there. And uh, this is what it is. Aluminum tube, five pieces, 332. Found this at Hobby Lobby. And this is going to be hola I'm making a video showing them how to lower a car so I'm showing them that I use this tube and then this is the tube that I put underneath here which shows in this car because I have not painted it yet see that tube right there that tube I cut the size according to the axle length that I need and uh, the tube is what I glued down to the interior or the base whatever I need to do it to and once uh, I do that you know that holds my axles very nice and firmly <clears throat> so that's what I do let me show you what is next Let's grab my my axles, which the tires come with axles as well, which is an awesome thing. They are right there, these two, and they fit inside these two perfectly, and they spin amazingly in there, so freely. So what we do, you know, put the wheel on there, and then. You don't want to hammer it or something or anything because, I mean, you know, with a hammer, because you'll pierce through the wheel. It's happened to me before when I broke the, I actually broke the, the wheel <clears throat> to another one that I did before. So let's see how long we need this. It needs to fit in there to cut it down. I always do this by by eye. Like they say, play it by ear. So I cut that. Then uh, grab my other wheel. Actually, I put this one on the ground. And put this over and press down both hands. Okay, I went in there, and then I look to make sure it, there is always one that is easier to come off, like super easy. That is just in case you want to switch your wheels, or switch your, yeah, switch your wheels pretty much. You just take it off, you know, grab the other wheels, put them in. But I'm going to glue them, and let's see, yeah, it is still a little bit too long. That's why I cut little by little. So you can still cut more. You can add more. You can cut more. <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut a little bit more. And always cut away from you. Don't ever look at it. Cut away. There we go. I think we got the perfect length. Yes, and I forgot we have to do some modification to the casting right here. We'll do that off camera too, but I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. You can see better from here. See this part right here? 
It's like a lip, metal lip, or an extra piece of metal right here. I'm gonna file this down and make it all smooth at the same level as this. It's pretty easy, it doesn't take much. I'll do this really quick off camera and uh, I'm gonna show you. So, this is where I started filing. Just grab your casting like this, your metal file, and go at it like that. Right here. And you can see how it's coming off. I'm gonna continue this a little bit longer. So, I already got done with this one side which you can see I have hand smoothed well not with my hand of course but I did it with hand power tools I actually laid it flat and I went at it and it works really nicely and you see how smooth of a surface it is from here all the way down it's one even line Versus that, it's not that much what you gotta do, but you know. You gotta get rid of those tabs. I'll do the other side and I'll show you. So I am done grinding this down or filing it down with my metal filer. That's what it looks like. And that's how this one looked like too. I just uh, painted it black to cover up the the evidence, just like that. So yeah, process progress is being done. Let's uh, let's assemble it really fast. See what it would to give us a preview of what it may look like. So let's uh, momentarily fit those there. See how they fit nicely. Uh, is this short enough? have to modify this too to allow for the wheels to go a little bit deeper in it's not much I have to cut this right here so I'm gonna <clears throat> mark it for you so that you have a better understanding of what I need to cut off. So I marked it. Whatever I mark black, that needs to come off. And uh, same here. Right there. So that's really easy. How do I do it? <clears throat> I just grab my knife and uh, carefully cut down here. which you know, it already did and then I just grab my pliers and cut this stuff off see so so easy and then just I already cut that side off, I just need to cut this. And then I remembered that we also have to 
trim this uh, down a little bit. This metal post, maybe to about this. And that can also be easily done with. Uh, what are they? Right here. With these heavy duty clippers. Did it right away. Just cut that off and file it down a little bit. That's it.